the thing about the unconditional love of God is that it's proactive. God stepped out of heaven in the person of Jesus Christ while we were still sinners. He didn't wait for you and me to clean up our act. He didn't sit back like the Pharisees, the religious leaders of Jesus' day, and judge people and criticize them. God looked down on the likes of you and me and said, hey, they need help. I'm going to do something about this. Of course, that was no surprise to him. He didn't wake up one day shocked at all the sin that was ruining humanity, the sin that was ruining your life and mine. From the, before the beginning of time, he knew, he always knew that one day he would have to do something radical for you and for me. Romans chapter 5, verses 6 to 9. For while we were still weak, just at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more surely then, now that we've been justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath of God. See, that's what love is. That's what love does. Love doesn't sit back and wait. It steps forward and acts. And love is proven in the suffering of Jesus Christ, which was decided upon and which happened before you and I cleaned up our respective acts. In fact, it happened because God knew that without that act of radical love, you and I would be doomed to the consequences of our sin. And that very same love, that very same proactive radical love, the sort that steps out in sacrifice rather than sitting back in criticism, is the love that you and I are called to live out in this world. Nothing more and nothing less. Radical unconditional love. Jesus said this about you and me. John chapter 14 verse 12. He said, Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. Now sometimes we just apply that saying to the miracles that Jesus performed. And that's great. When God performs miracles through us, it's awesome. But the greatest miracle, the greatest work that Jesus performed was his sacrificial love on that cross. And over and over again, we, you and I, are called to live out that sacrificial love. The sort that steps forward and acts instead of sitting back and criticizing. Jesus is calling you to do great acts of love in a world that's hurting, in a world that's desperate to receive the love of Christ. That's God's word, fresh for you.